Hello there everyone and welcome back. I decided to hold off on the second match of my last episode there, mostly because the queue was getting really long there and I was short on time, and the fact I was really none really off edge there a little bit with how thrown off I felt in the last episode. I'm not exactly sure how much that shows through the recording there, because you don't get to see a lot of the hotkeys and all the actions I'm doing. Could be a little bit tricky with any game, not to mention like a MOBA style game with the abilities kind of subtle there, unless it's the big dramatic ones that show on the screen. Kind of like Fury's little ultimate that allows her to dash forward and stun everything. But if you didn't know any better, you could mistake it easily for just a regular dash, so... I decided to not do a second match there, but the first one was an amazing comeback nonetheless, so... I can't really be too happy about it. Or, uh, what am I saying happy about it? Of course I'm happy about it. I can't be too upset about it is what I'm trying to say. Considering I did manage to turn around after I got some really good team fights there and managed to abuse to control the map for the most part. But that map really throws me on edge there because I don't know if I should be playing that map aggressively there, jumping across and getting an early watchtower, or if I should do something else. I honestly do not know what would be the best route for me. Nonetheless, the team has been working well there. The main issue I'm having while we're waiting for the queue, which hopefully doesn't go too terribly long, we'll see. But the main issue I'm having with my team currently is because I have Fury and Recon looking the exact same. Actually, yeah, looking the exact same except for the front, which really, that the only reason that front is different it's because that's like a visual indicator what kind of character and ultimate they have access to. That's really the only reason. If I were to change this, why these characters to Vanguard, and the only reason I'm not changing it is because I'm worried it'll screw up my Q. But she would have a different like cockpit area, as it were. Same with for Warhead there. So that's supposed to be this uh, distinguishing factor. So quite frankly, I chose them the same color because it would look good there. And quite frankly. I don't think most of these are going to be easily distinguishable anyway. I wonder. Now this, I was trying to see, because some of these characters have their own unique type of uh, components and body that gives them like different colorization or visuals even, but I was hoping Fury would have uh, unique boosters, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Does Recon have them? I don't think, no, Recon's was like the cloak if I remember correctly, yeah, so I have no custom boosters so I'm stuck with this blue coloration until that gets implemented in like a later a content patch I think. Unfortunately there because even these assault plasma here which is more of a short range aggressive type of weaponry well not really aggressive but what it does is do an AOE effect that depending on how many targets you hit buffs yourself even further there so it's a little more close range but I love the plasma rifle as is Slows them down a barely noticeable amount, allowing for easier kiting or like stutter stepping forward. And of course the additional damage, which I'm hoping cannot be interrupted through silence. Although my last opponent was doing a lot of disarming, which is what that weird yellow circle was. It actually prevents me from doing auto attacks, so that was pretty damn potent there if I'm ever grouped up. But hopefully we'll get ourselves a match pretty soon. Alright, it's showtime. Wasn't too terribly bad long queue there, but it, the game is in early access. I don't know how appealing it is there, but let's see. We got the traditional triage, the traditional group here. It's tank, support, and gunner. So, I wish there was an easy way to tell level differences, but I'm seeing a low-level gunner. That's all I know, and I never even checked the map. So let's try this again, shall we? Fury is going to try go through the middle there and grab the work her way up to the recon beacon. At least attempt to. Now, get the beacon there. That was a good hit, despite the short notice I have there. And the plan will stay the same as before. Fury and Warhead will be level 2 first, I think. And then Recon, who's a little bit safer down below, 
with the fission at least can start getting level can look get his level two in last especially since it looks like my opponent's doing a little more of a passive play at the moment and recon does have this more thermite grenade so if i can use this often enough that will help me Roger. come on you know you want it That was good. That was a good pool. I was kind of keeping my wits about me there. And, okay, recon. You get back to work. That was a good start. Like I said, if you're not paying attention to me, map, those jump pads can ambush you really quick. Like, recon right now is not in the most convenient spot. But it's working. It's working right now. I just gotta remember to use his thermite grenades more often. Let him get his, uh... Corin, I don't care about that. I just want the experience right now. If I can help that in any way. Now that everyone's level 2 though, maybe I can push for that. Just need recon to kill this. Yeah, kill that and I can actually gank the warhead down below. Now, Recon, get up here. We need you, buddy. Yep, pull on in. That's another kill. And Warhead, get on. Recon. Fury, get on up there. Oh, I got a hook. This is rapidly becoming a stomp, although I'm not going to get that kill. Not going to get the kill, but that was very promising. Three kills to give me a good tempo swing. I can abuse this some. Um, just gotta be careful of recon getting sniped. Because especially now, recon can get sniped all by himself. But should be in good shape with now two of them just getting spawned up. Okay, we're good to take this hive really quickly. Maybe I can push for a watchtower if I'm good about it. Probably try for a top one, maybe. At least that's my position right now to kind of uh, abuse it some. I just need the health regen. Recon at least can, at level 2, can regenerate his health based on the number of kills he get, got with this scrap integrator. He just needs the killing blow is the only catch. So pushing up here is risky, especially with my guys jumping forward. And they can see me coming there. Okay, nothing yet though, so it at least tells me that they're down below. Nope, they're going for the core. I'm fine with that. Just kill the alpha, get the one alpha kill there. And watch for a jump move here that they could be doing. I don't, I not really care about the core so much, I just want the alpha, which would help me a little bit there. Because I see they're not on my side of the map, or at least my half. So that's good there. Actually, let's pull back now. I may be pushing my luck some here. I got the alpha though, which is important. It denies them their alpha strike for later on in the match. I could have gotten two cores out of that though. But as soon as I sent Fury up, it wasn't really worth it. Because I can only get one core out of it. At least now I can heal up once I kill this hive. That's the hope anyway. Although, I am a little bit spread out. Get recon to level 3 for the AoE heal. Because it seems like I might be pushing aggressively. Especially now that it has 3 cores. Everyone push on up. Fury get us a little bit of experience and we're going to take the fight to them. Push, take the fight to them. Getting the heals off, so this could still be bad, but... That's good. Oop, got the wrong target. Sort of okay, maybe? 
Sort of okay? I don't know how to take that. I could have got a second kill, but the hook missed it. Alright, Feist, get the hell out. If you know what's good for you. Oops, I cancelled that. Damn it, I hit the hotkey that activates all of them. Alright. Double kill this time, finally. Although, that could have been a potential triple kill. A team wipe. Ooh, and I got another quarter to work with. So, now I want to keep the... Oh, we're going to want to run. We're going to want to run here. Cut our losses there. Just in case, because I don't really have the health regen to kind of get away with too much more aggression. Although, this experience is welcome. Being so close to my base, my respawn point, my healing. Whatever you call this damn uh, ship. It, I don't know what exactly you call it there, but the extra healing and the convenience is really nice. Especially since I get an alpha out of it. And that'll put me if I serve my way there. I just gotta fight a couple level 3s for getting two alphas and I'm golden. Now power up the plasma rifles, kill the things as quickly as possible, and then force a fight with the three cores. And level 4 fury for good measure. I was a little bit worried you might uh, for concede there as soon as uh, snowballing. Oh, it could still happen. Oh, damn it, that mini map screwed me over. Oh well, I can force an engagement here. I can still force a fight with three cores to hand in. Just gotta watch myself, but I had the hook ready. The minimap actually ruined that for me. A little bit of skier too, because that's where I positioned my snowball in the way. I actually can see it, but it's a little bit obscured. I wasn't paying that much attention. Okay, got the total vision. I was not paying attention for that. That was a blunder. And this was, is this a, yeah, this is a level 3 hive. So I get the hive buster. That was nice of him. Thanks for that there, Feist. You're a real pal. Kill the recon, kill the recon. Nope, no hook there. Although two more cores is really good here, and now I just gotta get the Alpha Strike. Kill the Recon, that should be set. Ooh, that stun hurt though. And there's the Kassid. Well, that was a little bit anticlimactic for how it started, but... I could feel that was a little bit better. Because that's part of the reason why I'm worried about playing aggressively. Because you kind of dive right into this comp that could screw you over. To be fair, I have the equipment and the abilities to kind of punish that when they do it to me. The ultimate question is, can I get used enough to what comps I might go up against? What equipment they have that I can safely make that judgment that I can poke out there with a single unit. A level 2 gunner you would think be safe, if I if I play it out right there. Because I do have that jump pack to kind of get through quickly and swiftly. And we got ourselves a nice fast match. The real question is though, is it the same person? I would hate to ruin their day too much now. But now, what kind of map we got? Different group. Okay, no me and... What is it with this map? This is like third time in a row. Although to be fair, it was third, three times in a row on the last one too. On the first map when I start the series, so... I guess it's karma. Okay, everyone move on out. And let's try and do this proper. And Fury, try and get us some experience here. And also, Recon, a little bit of hits like that would be useful too. What is it? Not much else to say here. The routine is pretty much the same unless he does something. Watch my back. 
but I wonder if I can get away with a fast level uh, recon instead, because I'm actually a little bit safer with the watchtower here to justify where recon on the other hand is a little more vulnerable. So let's go back to the original level build, as I'm going to call it there. Level up recon second, and then get warhead all level up afterwards. Because this extra firepower helps speed this along. Where these two are perfectly fine. Oh. And I didn't, again, not paying attention to the minimap, which is kind of fine. Go on, run. Okay. You know, it was only 25 experience, so I, it was worth letting him have it there. It's the core that probably matters most, if I were to be perfectly honest. So that was worth it. That was worth the kill. It kills his momentum a little bit, especially since he went for a fast level 3 too, so that punishes his cooldown or his respawn timer quite a bit. So can I get away with these two cores? I do have an escape plan ready, I just gotta be fast about it. So that fast level 3 did not pay off for him, safe to say. But Warhead's now level 2 and now I can start pushing my weight around some. Just gotta be mindful of my health regen. Because Recon is, has the health regen for kills, so him not being here to contribute doesn't help with his uh, health revive or gain extra health. Ooh. Can I be punish this any? I don't think I can unless I took the jump pad. Unless he has another core to hand in. Ready. Nope, doesn't look like it. I'm just going to keep Warhead here to kind of like punish any uh, any second cores he might hand in though. You can hook it and disrupt it. You can disrupt it really well. Alright, let's get on over. We'll start taking this watchtower. Still got to be mindful of Warhead's health. He's not in full condition, but he's good at forcing a fight, at least, if I can spawn anything. Boss slain. Okay, so he is going for the boss slayer. Roger. Vision secured. We can thank you later. Okay, I know how to do this. I know how to abuse this with his cortex by himself. Can I grab him? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful hook. Oh, there, there's your cortex there, although. That stun lasts for a long time, wow. Oh, going for the fast four. Damn, going for the fast level five. I was not paying attention to that. I could have punished that if I saw that coming. As it stands now, his Plutus is not going to be up anytime soon, but he is going to abuse his weight some. The good news is... I know what his strategy is, I gotta know how to abuse it. Especially with a level 1. Can I get the kills though? Because I still have one watchtower actually, I'm okay. Here I go. Just gotta try and push the boss here. Can I get the Cortex? Hell. Actually, why am I killing the the war, the Cortex? All of them get punished by the level 5. So that's not a huge issue. So yeah, even a Fury suffers from that. So this is not a problem at all, really. I just gotta get the damage buff. Start pushing my weight around, and of course he does have the level advantage. Damn it. That didn't work out as, as I hope. Eh, ah, 
I'm getting harassed here by this tower. Or this tower there. That didn't work very well. That is a blunder. So, can I fear he is dead though still, so I can still push around with the gunner out. I just need to get some experience now. And there goes the ult. Alright, good, good so far. With their level 5 down, that's actually a b allows me to abuse a lot here. He did get the eradicate though, so now I gotta try for the boss killer. Although there's not much he can do here, actually let me go for the boss and let him know about it. I just gotta be careful, make sure this is fast. Only thing I gotta be careful of, because this will level me up when I kill it. Alright, a little bit more. At least now I know if they get an indicator for when the boss dies. I do have that going for me. And with now his entire team's up though, and damn, look at his level advantage, holy crap. He's going for massive experience here, I gotta be careful. I gotta be mindful of his AoE denial, cause that's the game he's playing here. I don't have to kill for the cores, I just gotta kill for the bosses. Although, with these watchtowers here, that limits me a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I think it's because of how spread out they are with the experience. They have that ability. Now, he knows I'm over here probably more than likely. Right. Yeah, like I said. Damn it, got stunned and everything. If only he's a little bit swifter there. As it stands now, I'm getting a little bit outclassed, even though with a decent start. Losing the total control is my biggest problem. I wasn't paying attention too much of how much he was pushing. So it's a matter of being able to abuse that turtling style. Come on. So long as they're after me, they g they're not getting the hits off they would like. Yeah, level 4 Fury. Come on. He is getting more experience, I gotta be careful. Oh, Recon's gone in and I'm attacking the wrong target, go figure. Go figure. Attack the wrong target and it costs me heavily. Because of how aggressive he's going. With 3 level advantage I can't do much. Yeah, this is not going well, especially with 2 level 5s. This is a route. Not much I can do there if I can dodge the stuns and of course I probably need to be really aggressive. I didn't think it would be well, he had the ult to kind of justify killing the... What is it? The drone strike is probably what he was using to quickly strike down those things, so... That was probably his plan there, so if I could have been more aggressive, I could have punished that heavily. Not a whole lot I could do unless I can catch them isolated. I had a good start. It was just a matter of being able to punish the fast level 5, though. Not much I could do there in line aside for a boss killer, that's the only thing I can do. And abuse the damage buff from that. Probably not gonna work out for me, but at least I have vision to see it coming. Let's try and at least get one her last hurrah. 
Yeah, and of course that had to be Recon, not Fury. Fury's the one who has the health regen. Yeah, and he pretty much was farmed his entire side there for cores too, so... I'm pretty screwed here, it looks like, even with the cores. Now, is there anything I can do there? I can harass, at least. I can heal up, I'll have a damage buff. I am still three levels behind, though. Patched up and ready to party. Make him work for it. So, time to push out on their end. It's probably a fool's errand, but not much I can do about it. Roger. Now, it's just a matter of guessing where they are, which is down below, isn't it? Yep, I knew it. I could have predicted that. If only I could have been a little more decisive, I could have punched that so hardcore. At least now I know that it gives an indicator. Come on, I told you all to attack. You're not doing it. Oh well. It had a good promise there at the start. But in the end I squandered whatever advantage I had there, so... Again, it comes down to knowing what kind of composition he has so I can abuse it. Because killing his level 5s there early, what they were spread out, I could have abused it so much. I could have gone on his half of the map, but the trick is figuring that out, so I know I have that kind of advantage. At least it's nice to have an actual loss for a change after all these wins.